Hey guys, we're back once again with another lost game on the Java Archive. This is 13. Now, this was a huge project back in the day, and we're playing this one today because a couple of days ago, I was scrolling through Amazon in the video game section, and I just decided to say, hey, what is the cheapest game I can buy for the past console? So I was looking at Xbox One, I was looking at PS4, and the like. And scrolling through the PS4 section, uh, I saw the remaster for 13. One of the worst games ever remastered. Now, I, I, I knew that coming into it, and I figured, okay, how much is this? And it was like eight something, eight bucks and some change. But it wasn't for the standard edition, it was for the limited edition or the deluxe edition that came in a steel case with a bunch of extras. So, of course, I snapped that up and haven't played it yet. But that got me thinking about the original 13, which we have here on mobile phones. Uh, and I really liked the original 13, hard as hell. Uh, but I really did like it. So this is the mobile version. And it follows the same structure as the game. Um... Here it is, version 2.1.7. Info and support, this is by Gameloft. They were big at the time. Uh, this is right around the time where they were starting to get into much better games than everyone else. They were a, a, a kind of a step above what you could find at the time. And this is one of those games. They had a lot of these. Look at this. One, two, three, four. That's a lot of testers for a mobile game. Developer, two dudes, game design, two dudes. So, pretty cool. So, we're going to uh, start the game. Four, five, six. There's six chapters, six stages. I don't know if we'll make it to the end because uh, this game gets pretty hard, but we'll go through it uh, and try to play it. So, here we go. X finds him, or 13 finds himself on a beach, totally amnesiac. You can tell uh, that Stinger. No music, just that. What am I doing here? Just think of think of me as David Duchovny. A key. The key to a safe in my pocket. And what is happening to me? Okay, he's here. Don't let him get away. Essentially, it's the same as the beginning on the beach. Just no uh, lifeguard with a very high cut bathing suit so you control left right if you look if it looks familiar like a metal slug <coughs> excuse me you kind of have the right idea it is it's also the same sort of engine and style that ubisoft uh or, or gameloft was using for most of their games so they did splinter cell stuff uh, prince of persia the update on that one uh, and a lot of them looked like this so we can go per screen and there is left and right up the eight button on the keypad ducks for some reason which is very strange five shoots unlimited handgun two does your climbing and is your action button which is the important one so we'll shoot these guys in the legs and you can see it says ah just like a comic book panel so it kind of keeps that same uh styling it, it, is, it just feels weird to play on a phone so i have to hit two to grab onto a ladder and hold two to climb. Five attacks. And of course I'll have music under this. MIDI music that'll probably still get uh, claimed. Two to jump. I already did that. And you can pick up these briefcases which will give you health. Which provide you uh, with new weapons and stuff. Eight twice, which is eight once is dunk. Tap it twice. One, two, and you will slide. So that's pretty cool and effective. So we'll jump. Press zero to change weapons. It'll automatically switch to the most powerful weapon if you pick up something, which is effective. The the shotgun, I mean, it looks pretty, pretty good for a mobile game. We're running this on, a, on an old Sony Ericsson. Uh, and if you had this at the time it was released, uh, oh, almost died. No fall damage, so that's okay. If you had this, this is a pretty cool little diversion. We want to get out of here. 
Don't get too close. Oh, I guess I did. Par time, 208. Chapter 2. Now, I'm not sure if that stages. Uh, I, I think there's a couple of chapters per stage. So, yeah, still on the beach. It's 13. Let's kill him. Okay, Mong. And they'll drop enemies, and you'll have to deal with them left and right. There are boss battles. Uh, this, I guess, would be considered a mini boss, maybe. Or can I keep going? I can. All right, so there. Got to jump over these. Those are landmines but there are actual legitimate bosses and um oh there we go they're pretty hard they're they're actually challenging uh and you'll get stomp stumped with them uh they require some finger finesse for sure oh i got hit so see, when you're dealing with bad guys when they're shooting, you want to hit up to duck, but your instinct is to hit down, which makes you jump and you jump towards them. That's not that big a problem during the stages because enemies aren't the hardest thing in the world. But boy, when you get to boss stuff, it gets that gets problematic. And so there's different types of enemies. Yeah, they're mostly palette swaps. Uh, and you can tell by their colors how many hits they're going to take. So we'll pick this up. Okay. There we go. Got bullets. You will run out of bullets. <coughs> Excuse me. On your main gun, your big guns, the pickups. But you will not run out of bullets. Where's he going? Can I go? No. On your pistol. So you could always come back to that. So you think he's going to come from the other side. Pre-firing. Boom. Debriefing. So I think... Is that the end of the chapter? Let's see. Nope. Chapter 3. There's a couple chapters. Okay. 13 wants to solve the mystery of the safe so we move back in this is of course still at the beginning of the game where you're going into the safe that you have the key to but you don't know why and everything's still kind of a mess uh, and this is where the original 13 is still kind of fun before it gets super super hard uh, and this game gets super super hard as well so that makes sense i'm um, jones let's team up who oh who is jones she was a famous singer at the time oh man I'm blanking. I'm going to hack the system. Uh, open the way. Quickly, duck. So it, it follows the same structure, but of course it isn't... Uh, it isn't laid out the same. There's also no... Uh, as far as I can remember, no real stealth section. This portion of the actual game... Had a little bit of stealth going on. But you have, do have to deal with some of these platforming things. If you duck, you can avoid most damage, if you remember to. Uh, and I don't think there are any enemies that shoot down, unless maybe a boss. They do. But in general, regular enemies won't do that. Ah, uh, see. I suppose I could rebind keys in an emulator if possible. Shit, I did it again. But, um... That's not how the games were intended to play. Let's get you all... And so I, I, it really gets confusing, 2 and 8. I suppose if you're used to a keypad back in the day, <clears throat> it wouldn't have been that big a deal. Probably didn't have to go overkill like that, but what are you going to do? And you can kind of cheese some of this. If I get close enough, 
a little close there. They'll bounce off into uh, from me, take a hit, so you can kind of just stand a little bit. So there are... I can't get up there. There are opportunities to cheese some of the enemies. A little hitch. I don't know what I'm doing up there. Oh. If you remember... Ooh! I remember that time. The game, there's an explosion. You pick up the your information and it's booby-trapped. It's all a mess. So stages are, are pretty short. Uh, they get more difficult, of course, and longer. Chapter 4. 13 is accused of murdering the President of the United States. Jones comes to set him free. That escalated quickly <laughs> from the beach to uh, checking the safe. I don't understand anything. The evidence against me, these photos, I uh, mustn't stay rotting in this place. Okay, weird choice of words. Also, uh, they just left you with your guns. That's probably not safe. Do you even again? This is the second time I've saved your life. Oops. Okay, let's go. What are we going to pick up? Minigun. Not sure if that's a minigun. Seems like a uh, Uzi to me, but that's neither here nor there. And if they're coming off screen, they're always going to... They're always going to jump, no matter what. So they will always jump at you. Mines with timing devices. Don't hang around. Stay back. Next we'll go and set General Carrington free. He alone can prove your innocence. Go. Don't know who that is. We're going to go save him. For... Let's get through here. Okay. So it's not a... As you can see, it's not a super difficult game. Wait for him to come back. There is a little complexity to it. A little challenge, a little strategy, not too much. Enemies are pretty much fodder, as long as you don't forget to duck and do that sort of thing. Let's get in here. Uh, but you, once we get to the enemy, the boss, you'll see here in just a second, is where things are going to get pretty interesting. So we'll go set that off. Ooh, good timing on that one. <clears throat> and let's wait for him to go. I love the stage layout. You can see the tile work for the floors. Up there, how they just cut off at just a corner piece. That's great. I love that. Stuff like that. Okay, so it's um, kind of like a Mega Man here. You get a bunch of power ups and stuff right before you get to the boss. And he is going to be. Tricky. Is he gonna be a tricky fella? So he'll go he'll jump over. And if you're too close. Ah damn it, I'm gonna lose. If you're too close, he'll slide. And if you're too far He'll take advantage of you with bullets. And so you kind of want to cheese him. Ooh. Just the right way, and I lost. If he shoots and then slides, you're going to take a hit no matter what. Thankfully, the game only sets you back a little ways. And of course, I've already been hit twice because I'm a friggin' idiot. And so if he does that, you have to remember to double tap slide. <sighs> this is going to go bad. I'm not going to win this one. I have to try again. Now, the other bosses are the exact same character. I don't know if we'll make it to the next one. They do get a little different. 
mostly in terms of attacks. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, there we go. And sometimes the controls are not quite as responsive. I have a keyboard, of course. I'm sure you can hear it. But if you were on an actual phone, depending on your model, depending on how good your keypad was, uh, that might be a real son of a bitch. Like a real, real son of a bitch. <laughs>